It's July and that's the best time to film my Super Junior collection. Except that it turns out I can't fit it on my carpet. Meaning that I don't actually have all the albums and everything with me right now. Have to film this, then change everything and then film in the next video. And then edit it together. Because I can't fit everything here and I did not expect that. So I guess my collection grew a lot. So I guess let's get started. I've been collecting since, uh, well, 2012 may mainly, but I got my first album in 2011 December. So yeah, I've been collecting for a long time and my main priority is always Super Junior. I collect everything, so that's why I have so many albums, obviously. So let's start with the main group, everything, Korean and such, and then Japanese, and then subunits, and then solos. So first album, uh, Twins. Korean version. I also have the cassette tape version and I have the Thai Thai version with the DVD. And that's for twins. Then I have U single. Then the Taiwanese uh, EP version of the single. So it's a mini album that, like that. Then the second album Don Don. Here is the A version with Dong He set as the cover. Here is the cassette tape version. Then the CD plus DVD version of the repackage and the CD only version of the repackage. I have the digital disc version of the repackage. I also have the Don Don promo CD. And for Japanese press I have the CD only version of the same Korean album just in Japanese press. Then third album, sorry sorry, I have version A, version B. Then uh, the repackage, it's also called version C, this one time. Then I also have the version D, which is the Taiwanese special with a DVD. And there is also an Asia special version, which is exactly the same. But that's, that was released in Hong Kong and this was released in Taiwan. So. And the Japanese press again exists and it's a CD plus DVD version this time. This is the only for this one. Then fourth album, Banamana. I have the A version, but there are actually two covers for it. So this is the main, more known one, and this is the other one. You can get either if you buy them, and one is the other's back cover always. So they're kind of pointless, but I have both. <laughs> then I have the B version, of course. I have the repackage. And here is the Taiwanese uh, special version with the DVD. It's a slipcover on the jewel case. And for Japanese presses, here's the A version that has a Japanese press. The B version also has a Japanese press. This is a CD only. That one was a CD DVD. And I also have the repackages Japanese press, which is again a CD plus DVD one. So, yeah, Bonamona was a bit complicated. Then, uh, fifth album, Mr. Simple. I have all the member covers. Let's try to do this uh, somehow. <laughs> so, Itik, Hicha, Yesan, Shindan, Sangmin, Inhyak, Donghe, Shivan, Ryok, and Kihan. Then I also have the B version. And the repackage at Chen. Then for the sixth album, here are all my A versions. So I have all the colors white, silver, glossy red, blue, orange, glossy gold, matte red, brown, no. Gold. No, this is the matte gold, sorry. Oh. And black. And I also have the brown or glossy orange one. It looks more glossy orange, but according to the colors originally, this is sh the one that should be the orange one. So, or the brown one. Yeah. So it's glossy orange, not really brown. Then I also have the B version, of course. 
and the repackage Spy. Then for the seventh album, so I have the A version, this is a misprint one with the uh, Ya 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 written instead of Ya ah, Ya yeah, yeah, which has this, so I have misprint on the original, then I also have the B version of course. For the repackage my main copy is a donkey one. I also have the Taiwanese uh, special one with a DVD that is just separately inserted, so yeah, like that's why I have it in the seating. I ha got it for Donkey, and then I still have all the members, so in each order I have Ituk, Hicha, Kangin, Shinang, Sangmin, Inyak, Donkey again, Shivan, Ryok, and Kihan. So that was it for the seventh album. And then the special 10th anniversary album, Devil. I have, of course, the Devil normal version and then the repackage Magic, which also had a tiny Kino version. So there is that. And then the next album was the 8th album, Play. So I have the black suit version. This is the main copy. I also have extras of this, or you'll see in a second. So this comes with nothing really extra, just a message card as a random thing. And then the Peter um, um, uh, One More Chance version comes with a CD plate, so my main copy has Donghe. But I also have all the other members. So Itik. Hicha, Yesa, Shinda, Inyak, Dunkhegan, and there is Shivan. So that's it for all the CD plates for this one. Then this one also came in version B called Pose, and this is a bit complicated packaging if you ask me. And then let's go to the repackage, I guess. Here is the normal version of the repackage replay, and the CD plate is again Donkey as the main one. Then there is also a limited version of the repackage replay, and it also comes in a Kino version. I have two because one came with a different photo card set, but they are essentially the same. So there is that. And then for the CD plates, there is E6, Icha, Yesa, Shina. Inyak, Dunghegan, and there is Shivan. So I have all the CD plates for this one as well. And then they released a special single again, I guess their second single after uh, You, but they called it a mini album, but it's really just three songs, so it's a single. Um, I have the normal version of One More Time, and I actually have all the random posters in here in my main copy. And I also have the limited special version of One More Time. Then let's move on to Japanese releases. So their Japanese singles are kind of numbered uh, incorrectly because uh, they started to do Japanese things but never really promoted and then stopped and then like Hangang and Kibom left. And then they started it again but they still didn't promote but at least they had concerts in Japan. So it's like they have pre-singles that are not counted, but they should be, what? So they have U Twins as a pre-single, the CD only is a Mumo version, and the normal version is a CD plus DVD version. And they had an event, a uh, first premium event in Japan, and they also have a CD plus DVD version uh, available there of the same single. Then the second pre-single is Marry You, this is the CD only version. That's normal, and the CD Plus DVD version is also a normal version. But it had a special Mumo version once again, and that is this one. And this is the pre-single era. Then they actually started counting from then on. So Bonamana's Japanese uh, version is uh, Bijin. Here is the normal CD only version. CD Plus DVD version. Then here is the Mumo version again. And the uh, Sunkus version. And then the second Japanese single is Mr. Simples. Here's the CD only version. 
Then the CD Plus DVD version normally was released a bit later because the original limited CD Plus DVD version is big LP sized, which came with the random big member card that I rarely show actually, but I do have donkeys, so there is nowhere else to store it, so it's here obviously in the album. And then the Super Show 4 in Osaka concert had a concert version that you could get there at the concert of Mr. Simple. And there was also a special goodie box which included another CD version, no CD plus DVD version of uh, the single again. Kind of called Mumo, but it was really in a goodie box at Super Show 4 in Osaka. Then the third Japan single is Opera. Here is the CD only version that was released much, much later again and then the normal kind of first limited versions were puzzle pieces here is etix then there is yesang shinang sangmin inyak danghe shivan ryok and kihan so i have all the puzzle pieces of course and then the cd plus dvd version was the actual normal normal version back then then it, the first time we had an F version for a Super Junior single, it wasn't the first time ever, but Oprah was the first Super Junior single that had, and the limited uh, extra photo book with the F version is inside, and that's why the cover is blue. And then Super Show 4 in Tokyo had, again, a limited concert version of the single, and here that is. It's usually just a cardboard thingy. And then the next single, the fourth Japan single, here's the CD only version of Sexy Free and Single. And this is again was released later because the original limited version of the CD only is this big board. And the original normal version is the CD plus DVD version. And the F version was annoying packaging and this like 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 this. This is the F version. Very strange, I know. And there, they had an event uh, in Japan at that time, and this is the event version of uh, Sexy Free and Single Japan single. So I have that. And after the fourth single, they finally released the full Japan album the next year, and it's called Hero. Here is the CD only version that was actually normal this time, but the CD plus DVD version was just released later, and this is actually the Korean press of that because this is the first limited version of the CD only, no, CD plus DVD version that actually has uh, uh, two CDs, right? So two CD plus DVD for the original limited one. Then here is the F version, which is a CD plus DVD, judging by the weight of it. And then they had Super Show 5 in Tokyo at that time, so here's the concert version, which is actually a music card version with a playing card set, so there's just a code inside that you can download the album with. And yeah, that's how it's the album, but it's a playing card set, basically. Then the fifth Japan single was Bluebird, so here is the CD-only version of that, CD plus DVD, and the App Japan version. Then the sixth Japanese single is, of course, Mamacita. Here's the CD-only version of that. Then a CD plus DVD version oh, is actually a big board, once again. And there is another side to it. Yay! It's huge, really. Oh. And the F Japan version is normal sized and back to the CD-only versions of that. And there is the extra disc that came with that. So basically you still got the DVD. Hmm. And then the next Japan single is Devil and Magic, which is the seventh Japan single, I guess. Uh, here's the CD only version. And here's the CD plus DVD version. The F Japan version is again a CD plus DVD version. We, I guess we just changed that. And the event this time was Super Camp, and there's the event version. Then the next Japan single is On and On, which was just an F Japan specific, but I don't know, I hate that, like, should I number it, should I not, so it's annoying. Here's the CD only version, they started to do these slip cases, and here's the CD plus DVD version, sorry about the toes. 
And then the F Japan version is actually this uh, big fancy packaging of a suitcase. So there's that. And then the next Japan single was One More Time. And here's the CD only version of that. And then I guess we are getting extra again. So here's the CD plus DVD version. And we started with the CD plus Blu-ray ones. And we are not getting rid of those. Yay, more things to buy. The F Japan version is actually a Tumblr mug. Yeah, it is. And it does have a CD inside. Like this is the weirdest thing ever. So there's that. And then the concert that was at this time is Super Show 7 in Tokyo. Came with random member versions of the One More Time single. Yeah, I spent tons of money. Here is Etix. Here's Hichas. Here is Yes Songs. Here's Shindang. There is Inyak. Yeah, they move around. Uh, there is Donghe, Shivan, and Ryok. So, yeah. These cost me a lot of money. Don't even ask about it. So, what is during Super Show 6? It was Mamacita, right? But Mamacita didn't have a concert version. Yeah, that's very strange. Hmm. And then, now let's move on to the subunits. The first debuted subunit was KRY and the first kind of thing they released is the Haina OST and this is the Taiwanese press because like that I can have the KRY actually on the cover and it doesn't feel like random drama in my collection. And then the first Japan single was Promise You, here's the CD only version, CD plus DVD version and the F Japan version. Then Join Hands is the second Japan single, here's the CD only version. CD plus DVD version, again annoying slipcover, and then the F Japan version of that. Then the next subunit is Virginia T. Um, there is Rokuko, their only Korean release, uh, a single. And then here is the Taiwanese special version of that with a DVD. Then they had the Japanese release of Rokuko, but it's called Rock and Go. Here is the CD only version, the CD plus DVD version, and the event version with a DVD included as well. So there are those. And then the next subunit is Super Junior M. Here is me, their debut album. Here's the Taiwanese special version with a DVD included. And here's a me promo CD that I have. Then the first mini album is Supergirl. Here's the normal Korean version. And here is the Japanese press version, CD only. And they also had a CD plus DVD with a completely different concept that is actually pretty I like that. And then the second mini album is Perfection. Here is the normal Korean version, CD only. And the repackage was actually a CD plus DVD version, so I have that. And then Japanese press, it was a trend in 2011, I guess. So, well, I guess 2009 as well. Yeah. So, here is the CD only version of Perfection, a Japanese press of the mini album. And here is the CD plus DVD version of that. So there are those. And they have one big main OST that is kind of important. And that is the Skip Beat OST. Here is the normal version, challenge version, I believe. I think the Spendlor version is this CD plus DVD version. And the Deluxe version is this one. So there are those. And then the second Japan album is Breakdown. So I have that Korean version, of course. And the third mini album is Swing. And of course, I have that as well. Then the fourth subunit of Suju is Super Junior Happy. I have Cooking, Cooking. And this is the Korean normal CD only mini album. And then here's the Taiwanese uh, special version of that with a DVD included. And Victory Korea was actually released by the same members, so I have that single here as well. And then the fifth and only active subunit, I guess, is Super Junior DNA, and they have way too many things. I have the Opa Opa or Dota Opa promo CD, <clears throat> and then uh, normal Korean releases. The Beat Goes On, normal mini album, first mini album, and then the special edition of The Beat Goes On. Then second mini album, About You. I have all three versions. Here is the D version. 
here's the end and the E version because dog he, in he, and inyak. And then the third mini album, Danger. Here is the red version, and here is the black version. And of course, SM this year started to do kinos, so I have the red versions kino and the black versions kino. kino. And then Japanese releases, starting off with Opopa, CD only version, CD plus DVD version, and the F Japan version, the first ever F Japan version. And this is the most expensive one I got. It was really hard to get back then, and I got it here like a year late. So, yeah. And then uh, I Wanna Dance is the second Japan single. And uh, I Wanna Dance CD Plus DVD version, that was the CD only. By the way, like, I think they, they really have much less of that. Like, they released less of this uh, version, the first one. So I think that's why it was hard to get. Now it's more easy, but still. And then the I Wanna Dance F Japan version. Back then, only d &E got the CD Plus DVD F Japan versions. Now it's kind of the same. It's a bit weird. Then, write me the first Japan album. Here's the CD only version. Here is a normal copy of the CD plus DVD version, but the limited one came with a slipcover. That's the only difference. So, yeah, inside that, there is this. And then here is the F Japan version, which came with a slipcover as an extra. And I bought an extra DVD, normal like that, to put inside, so it's pretty. And the F Japan version also came with an. No, it's a different. Now it's just separately you could buy this extra DVD for Write Me. And this case is like that, that this DVD turns around a lot. It's kind of weird. Then Skeleton was the third Japan single, CD only version. Here's the CD plus DVD version. And here's the F Japan version with the extra food book on there. And then Present, the first Japan mini album. Here's the CD only version. Here's the. Uh, this was an extra slip cover that you could get, and they have a CD only inside. So, it's pretty, it's really pretty. And here's the CD plus DVD version that is a digipack, and the F Japan version is like this. And uh, this is the concert version, I think. Is there a track list? That would help me a lot. Yeah, it's the concert version. So, there's that. And then the, the fourth to Japan single, let's get it on. Here's the CD only version, CD plus DVD version, and the F Japan version. That also came with an extra DVD separately. And then, um, um, Lose It, one of the singles from the next album, and they were released all digitally, had this thingy. It's a music card inside that is one out of three random, so there are those. And you also get like these figurines that you're supposed to put at the side of your mug. It's a thing in Japan. So that's what this is. This is the Lucid single, basically, uh, the music card and the nice fancy packaging with they on the with them on the spine. And it's it's pretty cute. And then style the second Japan album. Here is the CD only version. Here is the CD plus DVD version, again, slipcovers. And here is the CD plus Blu-ray version. The contents are always exactly the same for the CD plus DVD and the CD plus Blu-ray version. So normally you don't need it, it's just me who needs it because Super Junior. So, I have Japan versions. It had a CD plus DVD version again and it's this weird special packaging, but it has a nice photo book. Bad news that it also has a CD plus Blu-ray version. So this was an expensive release for me. <laughs> And then let's move on to solos, the last section in this batch. So MND is such a solo in my mind at least. So here is a digital single uh, promo release of Close Your Mouth. Then here is Cottage Industry. And here is Goodie Bag. Then Hangen. Here is Gangshin. Here is the limited uh, special version of that that only had I think 10,000 copies. And Gangshin also had a Japanese press release of it, so I have that, and I still need one more version. For Hope in the Darkness, I got this special, maybe it's Hong Kong or Taiwanese uh, version. This is a CD plus DVD version, and I need the CD only version for this. And that's when I'm done with Hangang, so not yet. And 
then the next solo, of course, a bit more active solos from now on. Yes, sir. His first mini album, Here I Am. Here I Am also had an LP version because SM hates me. Then Spring Falling is the next second mini album, and this is the normal version. It also had a limited version which has the strangest packaging ever. This is normal. And then the third mini album, Pink Magic. Here is the pink version, and here is the magic version. And Kinas. Here is the pink version of the Kino, and here is the magic version of the Kino. So that's Yes and Korean. Then for Yes and Japanese, uh, Let Me Kiss, CD only version. Here is the CD plus DVD version. Random extra packaging. I know it's so inconsistent. And then here is the F version, bigger weird packaging, which has really pretty pictures. Then Splash, the second Japan single, CD only. Has nice packaging, like at least usual, but what's that? Here's the CD plus DVD version, and here's the F Japan version. Then his first Japan album, Story. Here's the CD only version, here's the CD plus DVD version, and the CD plus Blu ray version. And of course, here is the F Japan version. Again, random other packaging. Then the next member is Chomi. So I have rewind his first mini album, and the second one is What's Your Number? Then Ryok, first mini album, The Little Prince, normal Korean version. And there is a, an LP of that. Yeah, it's random, I know. And then Drunken Love is the second mini album, and uh, two versions, I guess. So here is the drunk version, and here is the love version, very cute. LPs! So here is the drunk version of the LP and here is the love version of the LP. These are very limited, like a thousand I think, maybe, but I got them and that's what matters. Getting everything Super Junior. And here is his first Japan release of When the Cherry Blossoms Bloom. Um, here is the normal release of that, but it's still special and limited. Yeah. And he had an event in Japan, so there is an event version in the cardboard sleeve, as usual. So, yeah, that's for Ryok. And now let's move on to Kihyun's stack. His first mini album, Ad Guanquamun. Second mini album, Fall Once Again. He also has an LP. So, Fall Once Again LP. Then, Waiting Still, his third mini album. And then Goodbye For Now, his single Before The Army. And then The Day We Meet Again, the single After The Army, first version, pink and mint version. So I have both. Kino! But since they are exactly the same food book-wise, they only made one Kino, thank God. Um, yeah, so there is a Kino of that. And then Japanese releases, Celebration, first Japan single CD only, CD plus DVD, F Japan version. Then his first Japan album, One Voice, CD only, CD plus DVD A, CD plus DVD B, so it's not Blu-ray yet. <laughs> and then here's the F Japan version of that, and actually this Japanese special F Japan release is The Day We Meet Again. It's like an envelope design, it's really cute. And then of course there is Henry. So here is Henry's Trap, first mini album in Korea. And Fantastic, the second mini album in Korea. Then Fantastic Japanese single CD only version. And the CD plus DVD version. So that was it for the first batch, which are basically the main Super Junior collection. The Japanese single and full album collection. Then the subunits collection, including Japanese things. And then solos collection, again, including Japanese things. Yeah, now I need to move everything back. So, on to the second batch. Let's move on to photo books. They are in chronological order as the photo shoots happened, kinda. So, yep. First, I have Bosin City, the first one, Kuala Lumpur. Then, the first premium event in Japan had a random photo book that you could, uh, like, make. So, there's that. Then, Bosin City 2 was in Tokyo. And there is the photo book itself. Then, Boys in City 3 is Hong Kong. 
Then uh, Premium Live in Japan also had a food book. Wait, this is the one that you could assemble. What's with the other one? Yeah, they are very similar, the Premium Event and the Premium Live in Japan food books, but these are definitely different ones that like uh, every single one of them are different and the person who I bought it from, or maybe the original one, picked one photo of each member, so it's nice. Then Skip Beat the Drama had a photo book, so I have that. And there is, he chose a photo book about him being in the army that was made in China and it's kinda not nice, uh, but, but it's pretty. <laughs> then Boise City 4 in Paris. Here is the normal version. And here is the limited version. Then all about Super Junior Treasure Within Us DVD preview for the book. And yeah, it arrived like that. Like, it's just the foil on it is not nice. So yeah, but I have that. And then uh, Experience Korea, number one. And number two, I also have the extra photo book, uh, postcard book. Then uh, Cho Mist High Perfect, his tour book. Then Super Junior Memory in Hawaii, Aloha. And Mahalo. Then the first Japan tour for the Yeni uh, had a food book. One side is Donkey, the other side is Inyak. Then uh, Super Junior M's guest house had this little, uh, like, again, tour book kind of thingy. Then Swiss Diary with Itzik Donghe and Inyak. Then uh, Sweet Of Day, an uh, other F Japan festival, they have tons. This is Sweet Of Day had a mini photo book, like, it actually had like a photo shoot, and this is that. Then uh, Super Junior Care Wise, a third Japan tour phonograph, had a photo book at the concert. And then he chose My Ramen Full Life, a Japanese, uh, like, I guess, food tour book, kind of. <laughs> so there's that. And for Super Show uh, for the books, here is Super Show 3. Super Show 4, that came in a box. And there is Super Show 5, the last one. Then Live CDs, Super Show 1, 2. Super Show 3. Then the Super Junior's Japan Limited Special Edition was kind of released around the same time as Super Show 3 in Japan and it's kind of complicated. Here's the CD only version. Here's the CD plus DVD version. And here is the concert event version of that. That is harder to get. This came with photo cards, one of the most expensive things for Super Junior. Then there is the Super Show 4 live CD and there is the Super Show 5 and 6 live CD. I wonder if we are going to get Super Show 7 one eventually. Then let's move on to DVDs and such. So starting off with the Attack on the Peanut Boys OST. Then Attack on the Peanut Boys movie video CD. Then here is the limited version of the DVD. Here is the ultimate edition of the DVD. Then here is the Taiwanese edition of the DVD, which came with this extra little diary thingy. Then, these are all in uh, like as they happened order. So here is the Super Show 1 DVD. Here is the first premium event in Japan DVD. Then Super Show 2 DVD. Premium Live in Japan DVD. Then there is a variety that they released in Japan. The DVD at least, like the variety is Korean. So this is a Super Junior, the Miracle of Super Junior, something like that. Premium Box 1, and here's the second one. Then this is an illegal version of, there is no official one, for Super Junior's first Japanese concert in Japan. First Japanese concert. So this is that one for 2010. And then here is Super Show 3. Then Super Show 3 in Japan, Super Show 4, then Super Show 4 in Japan limited DVD edition with both the concerts in Osaka and Tokyo, then Super Show 4 in Japan limited Blu-ray version, like that, 
Then Albert Super Junior, the Treasure Within Us actual DVD set. So then Super Junior's Fan Club event 2012 in the Yokohama Arena. So this is the 2012 Fan Club event. They kind of started to do it regularly after this. So there is always, almost always, an Av Japan DVD. Then uh, Care by Second Japan Tour, uh, the Christmas one special winter concert didn't have an official release again, it was just aired on TV, so it's an illegal version of that, so there is that. Then Super Show 5, Super Show 5 in Japan normal DVD, Super Show 5 in Japan limited DVD, Super Show 5 in Japan limited Blu-ray. Then the next event is the Elf Japan Festival 2013, so this was the next one. And then, I think the 2015 one, Sweet Elf Day, is the only one that didn't get a DVD. Right, yep. And then here is DNA's first Japan tour, the 2014 one, limited DVD. Then here is the limited Blu-ray for that. They are very different, so pretty, I love it. And then Super Junior, Guest, Super Junior M Guest House also had a DVD release. Uh, so that's the other variety, reality show kind of thingy. And I need the Avjapan Japan photo book for that. Ugh. And then uh, Super Show 6. Super Show 6 in Japan limited DVD. Then the second DNE tour limited DVD. Then uh, KR Wise uh, third Japan tour phonograph limited DVD. Then phonograph in Seoul DVD. And then see, we just simply skipped uh, Sweet Off Day. So there is Super uh, Super Camp in Tokyo Limited DVD or Av Japan DVD. Sorry, Av Japan DVD. No, yeah, right, Super Camp, right, and then Super Sports Day Limited DVD Av Japan, of course, and then the Limited Blu-ray for Av Japan for Super Sports Day. So that's two, and then the Return of Super Junior. Super Junior Returns. Uh, sorry, this is the front. Is, was released in Japan DVD box set, so there is that. And then Super Show 7, then yeah, it happened in that order, okay. So DNA's Sty Tour, the third Japan Tour limited DVD, here is the limited Blu-ray version. Then Super Show 7 in Japan, uh, Tokyo, limited DVD. And the limited Blu-ray, the cases are different, yay! And then extra DVDs that were released for Av Japan, and there's still one that I'm missing, so annoying. So here's the Super Show 4 extra DVD, Super Show 5 extra DVD, Super Show 6 extra DVD, and the DNA Second Japan Tour Present extra DVD. And I need the Care by Phonograph DVD, that is the very last one I need. And then, of course, I have my Super Junior official light stick. I guess it's appropriate to show it with Super Show stuff. And then, I guess, a bunch of Japanese, so let's show my F Japan Magazine collection. So, volume 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, volume eight, nine. I lost the unboxing of these. That's the only video I couldn't save from my uh, laptop, so I'm not gonna film it again. I don't care. So this is volume nine. I have it. Volume ten, eleven, and twelve. These are the four that I did together. And then volume thirteen. I don't have a number. I never filmed an unboxing of this yet. And there is the volume 14. So I have all, not all of them. There is volume 15 already. And maybe 16 is around the corner, I think. Yeah. So other bigger things, mainly brochures. So here I have the making book of the Atacondo Pina Boys movie. Then Super Show 4 brochure, Super Show 5 brochure. Super Show 6 brochure, then Super Show 7 in Japan brochure, so this was only in Japan, there is no Korean one. Then uh, 
Dianis High Tour brush. Then a Samtown was a Samtown Live 2010 brush. This is, I think, the Japanese one. Yeah, it doesn't matter, probably the same pictures. Uh, then here is the SM Town 3 one from 2012. And the 2014 one is a SM Town 4, I think. So yeah, these are the ones that had brochure with many members. So the next one only had like four studio members there. So yeah, I don't have that. And then uh, I have Heart to Heart, which is Super Junior English favorite songs collection. And the Japanese one is Sweet Memories, so I have those two. Then a Samtown stuff. Show Me Your Love with the Machine Key. A Samtown 2006 Summer. 2006 Winter. 2007 Summer. 2007 Winter. 2009 Summer. 2011 or 2011 Winter Silver Version and the Gold Version. And I guess the most important SM Town OST is To the Beautiful You, and it has Suji songs, so like Kihan, I think. Maybe it's him. He, I, definitely him. Maybe Care by too. So SM, Ta SM The Ballad is the next thing. So here's the first one with Kihan, then the second one Korean with Ye Song, and the uh, Chinese one with Chomi. And then SM Station, the first season, had a CD release. Yay, it's heavy and big and it's like huge. So there's that. Then the DVDs have the IM DVD, the Korean one, of course. Then uh, Live World Tour. This is uh, 2010 and 12. So, yeah. So the 2010 one and the 3 one, which is the 12 one. So both of them are the sole ones. And you get both concerts on one. SM just realized, oh, wait, we should release this. It's kind of odd. Then SM Town The Stage, which is kind of like the I Am movie. Oh, it had a Japanese version. Here's the limited DVD that I never actually opened because it didn't get the slipcover with it as I wanted, but I have the Blu-ray with the special F Japan slipcover because it's blue. So every group had its special color. I mean, like, Exos color is gray. That's so boring. I, I like, that's so sad. But all the others actually look like nice and pretty, you know? So yeah, there's that. And then, diaries. I have the 2007 diary and the 2008 diary and the 2012 diary. The rest are either in Boys in City 4 or season greetings. I do, I do have all the season greetings and the desk calendars. I have all those. There's like, like wall calendars that I missed for like, like ages ago, but I don't have anywhere to store them, so I don't really want them, but I have the desk calendars. And the last thing I should, thought I should show is the first chocolate set, which was released in 2012, and the chocolates expired in 2013, and I never ate them. And then, was this 2016, I think? No, 17, or that's expiration? Yeah, I have the second chocolate set as well. Never ate it, so probably very dangerous to eat it now, especially that one. But they have pretty Super Junior stickers on them. <laughs> so these are the other extra things that I have. Like DVDs are not really extras. Like they are like a huge part of my collection. I actually love looking at the DVDs. They are so pretty. I mean, I love watching them too, but like, they are very aesthetically pleasing to look at on my shelf because they are mainly similar size. And of course, the photo books are amazing. And there's my light stick. Yay. So that was it for my Super Junior collection. Uh, it's 2019 now, then it's more than seven years that I started collecting and it's so cute that originally I thought that I would complete everything by 2012 August, something that was my original first thought and to this day I've never completed it but it's mainly because I buy other groups and that is completely my fault. I have this thing programmed in myself when I get close to the end of my goal. I get a new thing to do. So originally I was collecting basically only Super Junior and like very few groups, like five or something. And when I actually got like pretty much everything, like all the Japanese singles, maybe not every single version, but like one missing here and there. I had all the Korean releases for really long, uh, DVDs, almost everything. So I was actually really close. Then that's when I started to collect more girl groups. And then when I got even closer with the Super Junior and closer with girl groups, I started to collect more boy groups. And then I like 
discovered that how much I want Goong stuff. So I bought my favorite dramas, DVDs and such. So that's how I ended up with Goong stuff. And then Harry Potter entered the whole picture. So it's like, I basically always sabotage myself. And that's why I don't have a complete collection now. But this basically seems like a completed collection, like barely anything's missing. Like it's just nitpicking. Like I don't have all the limited Blu-rays for the Japanese concerts, but does it really matter? Like in the big picture, it doesn't really. It's just me who collects those. So it is completed in a sense that probably it's one of the biggest Super Junior collections out there. And I do have actually every like footage and such, I guess. Um, but I need the Blu-rays. I need the Blu-rays. <laughs> and two Hangang albums. So, yeah, those. And the one CD plus DVD don't don version for the Japanese press. That should be kind of it. I think. Oh, yeah, I, I have things. Don't worry. So, thank you so much for watching. And bye. Hope you like this video. Sorry it's so long. <laughs> bye.